Did you know there are many types of narcissism? Because we're so used to the glaringly obvious displays of overt narcissists who are often attention-seeking, loud, and in your face, it's easy to overlook other types of narcissists, particularly the kind or the covert narcissist to avoid being fooled by their outwardly kind nature. Today's video will be focused on what kind narcissism is and what to do when you interact with someone who is a kind narcissist. What is a kind narcissist? Kind narcissists describe those who have the general qualities of narcissism, such as a lack of empathy or a desire for attention, but who come off as nice, understanding, thoughtful. They're still self-serving and will approach things by looking at what and who they can use to benefit themselves the most. And because of the appearance they put up, it's often difficult to notice and realize that you're really dealing with a narcissist. Even if you realize, it may be too late since their facade may crack when they can no longer contain or control their sense of entitlement and selfish behaviors. Appearances can be deceiving. So what should you look out for? Signs of a kind narcissist. According to Tanya Lester, a psychotherapist, this type of narcissism often manifests itself in a few ways, including not doing their fair share of housework, insisting that their needs are more important than yours, and being resistant and reluctant to spend time or resources on things you enjoy. Perhaps they promise that they change or will put in more effort to the relationship, but slack off in the end. Kind narcissists are the ones who know exactly what to say and what to do to get on your good side and convince you that what they're doing is good and right. So if you don't wanna get sweet talked into their hands, here are five things you can do when you're with them. Number one, set boundaries. Are you able to tell them no? Narcissists often won't care about respecting your time and space. It's a reason it's important to set boundaries and remain steadfast about keeping them. It's a way to communicate your principles and values and to show them what you are and are not comfortable with. By remaining vigilant about respecting your boundaries, you also show them that their strategies and methods to undermine or manipulate you won't work. Number two, speak up. Are you able to speak your mind when you're with them? Narcissists will often try to silence you as a way to gain control over you. By being aware of this, you can remind yourself to speak up and make yourself heard. Because once they know that they can't silence you, they may give up on their efforts to influence you. Number three, healthy distancing. One of the best ways to avoid falling into the narcissist's trap is to keep them at an arm's length. The less time you spend with them, the less opportunity they have to weave you into their web of lies and deceit. So if you find yourself around a narcissistic person, try to slowly distance yourself from them. And number four, get help. If you're in a relationship with a narcissist and require help, there are some resources and therapists available who deal specifically with narcissistic abuse. Find a mental health provider or support group near you that deals with this topic if you feel like you need it. Have you ever interacted with a narcissist before? Let us know how you dealt with that situation in the comments. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.